Okay, here's our next case. It's called osteoarthritis subchondral cyst. And as you can see, this is the entire disease here. So let's move on to the next case. Okay, you know I'm just kidding. So let's blow this up a little bit so we could talk in more detail about the questions that are raised in this section. We have a piece of bone here. In fact, not only is it bone, but you can see that it has hyaline cartilage along its surface in a somewhat curved manner. So we can guess, and if we did, we would guess correctly, that this is the head of a femur. Here is the uh, femoral head cartilaginous surface and here is the bone itself and here is something within the bone that you could see that looks like there's a loss of bony spicules like you see here and you can also see that if this is relatively normal thickness of cartilage along this femoral head you could see in this area it's very much thinned and in general it's also very very irregular so the main pathologic process of osteoarthritis, which is identical to the term degenerative arthritis, is thinning and loss and irregularity of the surface hyaline cartilage. In addition, there is usually compression or sclerosis of the underlying bone as well. And of course, Another third feature that you could see here is that there is something called a subchondral cyst as well. If this is the cartilaginous uh, surface, this is the chondral surface, then this is a subchondral area. And you can see that the bony spicules are replaced by fibrous tissue. Uh, and just so you understand what a bony spicule is, this is a spicule of bone. You can see the osteocytes trapped within the lacunae. And here's one, here's one, here's one, here's one, here's one, here's one. Here's a nice lacunae with osteocytes. And then you can see the nice uh, peripheral rim of osteoblasts. And then you can see the connective tissue between the spicules, which is out here, which is predominantly loose fibrous connective tissue. But in osteoarthritis, besides having erosion and thinning and loss of surface articular cartilage, you can get secondary things like sclerosis of bone, which we don't see here too much. But here's the subchondral cyst, and that's actually the name of this uh, slide. To compare it uh, grossly and radiologically, knowing that the x-rays are often the gross specimens for bone biopsies. Here you see an x-ray. Here you can see that the uh, cartilaginous surface has a little bit of a lip on it. There's should, these lips are prominent and these are called osteophytes. And here you see an osteophyte radiologically and here you see osteophytes on the gross uh, specimen of the bone. So the three questions that were raised in this slide are hopefully now answered and thank you very much.